Coming up next, we present this heavyweight championship fight between Kane Velasquez and Stipe Miocic. I just tried to get the W here. Right, here we go with round one in DCI. I know you have said to anyone within earshot, if you like grappling, this is the matchup for you. This is the matchup for you. You may as well be in a gymnasium somewhere watching a jiu-jitsu right, or a right. combat sambo competition because these guys are trying to both get the fight to the floor and they're trying to get bragging rights because no one has the accomplishments of these two in the grappling realm. So if one of them can secure a submission, it only will add to their legacy inside of the grappling world. And of course, if you're someone who likes the striking game, uh, maybe you'll like our next fight. Yes. Good stick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very busy. And he caught the kick. And they separate. All right, he pulled. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big kick lands. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at the force behind that fight. leg kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. And he landed the right hand there. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Stipe. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Missed with that right hand. Nice loop and punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Miacic is low. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down. That's a nice one, too. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. This is a great fight. Everything works off of the jab. Doubles up on it there. Oh! All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Plus right hand is true. 15 seconds remain in the round. Nice punch there. Oh! Fuck. Five minutes down. Here we go. Round two. Kane Velasquez. Can't lose to this dude, man. And on the other side, Stipe Miocic. Velasquez uppercut, but that one is blocked. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. How the fuck that should not hurt him? So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. So 44 total strikes have landed for Cardio Kane Velasquez. And landing with just 39% accuracy tonight against Stipe Miocic. Good exchange there inside. We go two minutes down here in the second round. 
beautiful body kick. Nice punch there by the heavyweight Miacic. So he's really starting to put together some significant body See shots that? here. These Get are going to the take their here. toll as this fight goes on. Oh, how clean is that jab by Miacic with the guard beautifully there. And that one was heavy. of strikes here in round two definitely picking up the pace after round one so he got the message from the corner and now he is taking control of this second round well defense doesn't necessarily win championships in mma but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots he's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks big powerful punch land now he gets back to range Miacic's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Protect that body. Just to get some running. Unable to connect with the rest. Oh! Oh, oh, Rosa, go, oh! How about those five minutes? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. So the crowd... Miacic's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice. Oh, nice right hand. And now he lands a combination. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now. That are not in him. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's Fuck out of here. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Three minutes to go in round three. 83 total strikes have already landed for Steve oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Knee to the body. Oh, huge elbow. Oh. That is some fucking bullshit. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Gotta knock him out. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, that'll quiet the storm shot block. Wow! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. in a single collar tie. Oh! 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 Lock that, bitch. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality, so if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that.
Well, I'm not sure any heavyweight would have beat this champion, this man here tonight, the UFC heavyweight king, getting it done by TKO. The flurry of strikes just absolutely too much for his opponent here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, two seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Stipe Miocic. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champion.